Alright, we got a. Well, I. I don't know who I have to go with. A, a 2006 525i. Put the compressor on here. <clears throat> the customer stated that somebody are evidently already diagnosed it. And um, I put my pressure gauges to it. There's no pressure in there, so I'm going to assume the uh, AC is leaking. I'm going off her diagnosis of what somebody else told her. So, let's get to it. There's a tensioner down here. <clears throat> I'm going to pull off. There's. Let me see here. You can see down in there. That glare go away. Let me see. I'm going to do the best I can as far as pointing out what needs to be done but this car is real tight and I'm not a you can see that right there and that's gonna be a seemingly a T55 that's the tensioner I'll pull off but I'm gonna try to get what I can as far as much information I don't I don't like working on these cars either, but for the sake of this is the car that was here a while ago that had the uh, Benefs the oil control issue so but again, if I was, if it wasn't me working on these cars, man, for a couple years, I wouldn't be doing it. But T55, what seems like, I'm going to use that to take the belt off first. And then uh, we'll work our way over there, see what needs to be, what needs to come off to gain access to the refrigerant lines. something I, I can't remember but uh, you know, I'll assume if you're working on this you got the appropriate tools to do it close thing I can get my hands on alright let's try to break anything with this Sitting there, no pressure. This is a, a Haas 6, so this is going to be a hex bit. It's going to be a 6 millimeter. the compressor is leaking you take that refrigerant line out you break the line loose a little bit so you can lift up on the suction or either the uh, high pressure side so you can make sure that there's no all the pressure is relieved out of it go perfectly smooth man I tell you this is gonna be I might need to play the lottery because 
and I normally don't have much luck with this. So much plastic, so many fragile pieces of equipment. This should be the line. Should be the, yeah, seem like this is the connector going to the compressor. I can't see that well. We might have to do something with that. I know my brother car he had wanted him having to do a little something with the connector, but somebody else put it on there. I love me. Oh, might need to. Hopefully, I don't have to drain the coolant. I should hope I don't. Uh, I think I might have to get that hose off. I might need to come out from the top. I imagine. Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm hating this already. So let's. Let's um. All right, so we're under the car now. Uh, let's see if I can get a good angle. I think this is a good view. So here we got the water pump, uh, thermostat housing, and some uh, inlet outlets, harnesses here. So I think I think the best route is to take the water pump out. I, I hate to have to do that, but luckily, uh, I put a water pump on here some years ago. Mind you, this water pump is like $700. But I think we got it online for half that price. So I'm gonna, I think it, it'll just, oh my gosh, I'm gonna stole I'm gonna have to do that. But I don't, I don't see how I'm gonna pull the compressor out from the top when it doesn't seem like it's adequate room it just seemed like it's more room here if I pull the water pump out and get these housings or the uh, water lines put pulled over to the side I can pull it out and move it around but I still got to access those bolts from the bottom of the compressor so I think it I, I don't think there's any other way I'm gonna drain the coolant <sighs> and um, pull this crap out of here and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens okay so change of plans I'm gonna try something first we're gonna I'm gonna pull the thermostat housing off separate that from the water pump and see what I can do with this uh, if I can remember how to get this connector off I'm gonna pry it up pull out I know you're not supposed to pull it by the wire, but real life. 10 millimeters. So, like I said, the problem is having to access that one bolt at the bottom of the compressor. But once I get this off to the side here, sucker, I'm going to this out. Alright, so we're getting a little more room as we go. Feels a little tough. Ew. something strict to me there's the bolt right there for the compressor something a little restrictive oh. it's not relaxed I'm gonna tug on some lines here so I can see the bolt I need to get you right there I might just 
pull this, go ahead and pull that out. Get the hard one first, of course, and work my way up to the easiest one. Uh, but I think, I swear I'm gonna have to drain that coolant out. But let's uh, see what happens with this first. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna remove the water pump. Go ahead and remove that, and hopefully I can drop that down and get a little more access. That's gonna be the same as the compressor E12. Get it up there. Technically, you're supposed to replace these after you remove them, but uh, I think we'll be okay. What is this? I'm gonna clean that off. Gosh, I hate these cars with a passion. I just don't like them. All right, I think it should be these, just these two. No, uh, we're gonna see. I think it should just be these two at the bottom down here. So there's something, yeah, there's one more up top here, and I want to snatch that out. So I can get that out some way. Yeah, my arms hurt. Yo! <sighs> Electric to just drive it out. see the compressor a lot better now all right I'm gonna pull this well I think this might be the easiest bolt now being that I got all that uh, that room now I'm just just hoping I don't have to drain the coolant what the hell is
think I'm yeah, I think this should be really good right here. I should have plenty of room to get this compressor out if I angle it just right. Alright. Let me rest. Rest my neck for a second, because man, my neck hurt. And I'm gonna I think yeah, I'm I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna get this one last. Because this is just the easiest to access. Let's go to the top. Go back up there. What I'm using. Let's see if I can get this one in the back first. It's gonna be the probably the challenging one. Got broken loose. Probably should have been my second one I got out. Just the first one, the top right here that I suspected that it was going to be the easiest is going to probably be the hardest. In hindsight, I should have, but uh, it still ain't bad. I mean, it still held in place. So. Right, one, this other one here. Let's see where it's looking. Between these hoses. Go to the bottom. I think I'm gonna be able to get that. I'm gonna try something else. Nope. Alright, this is what I got one of them little stubs there. I can't remember the name of it, but I got from Harbor Freight. These helped me a whole lot. I can't begin to tell you. These tight places. Dude, put that on there. I thought it was gonna be the easier one, but I take that back. I retract that again. Uh oh, it's a 15. 14 kind of fitted on there. So I got 15 now. See what happens. Oh. Still ain't work. What the hell? There it goes. This would be the hardest one, right? The one I suspected would be the easiest one. You know, I, I should have. I should have did that top one. I should have got this one first. Live and learn, all right? Damn, this is definitely the hardest one.
just like hoping I don't break any plastics or anything. That's my biggest concern. What the hell? What the hell is that? Please be free on. Huh? I hope that's free on. Huh? Let me see if I can. I'm gonna turn away here. Ten millimeter here, so that works out perfect. So. Oh, what I'm using to put this back now. It's holding the compressor up. If my calculations are correct, I should be able to pull this compressor right up here in the front here. Let's see what happens. Hopefully, I don't get doused with fluid. <sighs> Like we saw it, got it. Oh, shit, no. Uh, it ain't looking too promising. Something top here is holding me up. Uh oh. I hear stuff popping and uh oh. Let's do this. Let's just damn phone. Huh? It's like it. Things without breaking anything. Some dials right there. I'm on one. There's the other. There you go. Oh yeah, we're in. We're in. You know what? I hope I can get this back in there because I'll fully put this in there. I knew I was gonna forget something. Do it again. Something's gotta go wrong because it's going too damn smooth, right? I 
guess the good thing is I didn't have to drain the coolant. And I didn't have any coolant drain. Nothing break. Knock on wood. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Son of a bitch. That's <laughs> why I fucking knew it, man. I, I, seriously. This is fucking great. Just great. God, please. Be like others and edit it out because hell I'm not perfect and I don't expect nobody else to do so. This is just a reminder of why I don't work on these cars because you know, I don't who use like an aluminum whatever the hell is like a composite bolt. I mean I don't I don't understand that. happens right damn it man I just I don't need to be a pessimist but if something's going too smooth something's got to go wrong right Supposed to go smooth for a mechanic. Man. <clears throat> I mean, seriously, I, I didn't just didn't even expect it. Golly. I mean, things are gonna be all right because the uh, there's dials in there, so the dials are gonna they're gonna take a lot of the load. If there's any other, if there is. Going in there. That's what dials it forward. I mean, if it's trying to deviate from its normal position, it's going to ensure it stays in its place. Damn it, you know what? I don't even freaking know the. Nuggets, 
snug these. Um, oh. That phone better not be ringing. Dang, man. I was like, you know, this is going so smooth. No problems at all. Customer, no. There we go. What happened? Ain't no secrets here, so. <sighs> Shit. <sighs> oh, shit. Knocked over, knocked around. They didn't, have to, they didn't have to drain the coolant or anything, and drain the coolant would have made things worse anyway. But it went through more effort. I only to have a disappointment that I screwed something up. The uh, compressor, the new, the, well, the old one had a fitting on there. To ensure that the suction, the low side had was the low side was properly clocked. So I have to take this off and install it on a new unit so we can properly clock the low side. about that. Got a new seal on here. Yeah, I was thinking about not changing it, but, but uh, luckily I had a seal that'll fit it pretty well. that other boat. They wouldn't have been able to hold that pressure like this. Damn it, man. This is so stupid. Oh.
no idea. Put it on there for a little, little tight. I don't question myself now. I know I tighten that up, but I'd rather know. No, I did because I put the new one in there. I did. I didn't use the old one. I deliberately put the new one in there. Reservoir back in here. Um, everything's hooked up. Let's do the first startup compressor. Hey, we got engagement. Pressure's dropping. are engaged quite silently. <clears throat> the band's coming on now, so that's good. Oh, 1.7 to 8 pounds, so two is 24 ounces. So two cans should suffice after everything gets all good and circulated. 16 ounces in a pound. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. Put a gauge in it. We should be good to go. Still going on, so I added a little more in there. Just wait for, the, for everything to circulate. The fan coming in and out, high and low, indicating that that fluid is circulating pretty well, and the pressures are, are, get, are gaining. So it's a great thing. It's starting to get a little cooler in there too. Well, I'm gonna let this run on, do it, take its course. I mean, it's nothing special ministering freon so just let it take its course don't overfill it i mean the gauge, gauges are general but you know once you take it for a drive let everything circulate check the temperatures make sure the temperature's nice and cold when it's at uh, low rpm high rpm you know so other than that everything's good peace